More than 100 days since Liz Truss's premiership came to an abrupt end, roundly blamed for damaging the economy, seeing the man she beat wheeled in to clean up the mess. Does today's IMF report reflect your economic plan, Miss Truss? Do you still think it's better than Rishi's? It is perhaps no surprise Britain's shortest serving Prime Minister has been keeping a low profile until now. In a 4,000 word essay for The Telegraph, Liz Trust has laid out her version of events, blaming the left wing economic establishment. She says, I still believe that seeking to deliver the original policy prescription on which I'd fought the leadership election was the right thing to do, but the forces against it were too great. I'm not claiming to be blameless in what happened, she says, but fundamentally, I was not given a realistic chance to enact my policy by a very powerful economic establishment coupled with a lack of political support. I assumed upon entering Downing Street that my mandate would be respected and accepted. How wrong I was. I do feel sorry for her, I have to say. I... But from the street... We were at the rugby yesterday, we think maybe probably a less chance that I come back than England. To the studios, not everyone agrees. Liz Truss had to stand down because her policies were incoherent and unsustainable. And the idea she's been brought down by a left-wing economic establishment, she's been brought down by straightforward economics. If you want to borrow money, as she did, and people don't think your plans mean you can pay it back, well, they're not going to lend you that money. There are a few who imagine a Liz Truss return to frontline politics anytime soon. But what does all of this mean for the man who replaced her? The problem for Rishi Sunak is what Liz Truss is saying does tap into a mood among some Conservative backbenchers, impatient for tax cuts. You think the pendulum has swung too far since Rishi Sunak became Prime Minister. As one senior Conservative put it to me, no one sees Liz Truss as a returning messiah, but I do want to see a plan for growth. And with a budget looming next month, ministers are under pressure. I completely agree with Liz's instinct to have a lower tax economy. What we also know is if you do that before you've dealt with inflation and dealt with the debt, then you end up in, in, in difficulty and you can't get the growth out of nowhere. But three former prime ministers still in the Commons, two so recently ousted, looming over Rishi Sunak, is uncomfortable. The political revival for Liz Truss doesn't help the man who replaced her. Ali Fortescue, Sky News, Westminster.